morning news, dogs, truck, fall, modifications, don't look at them, and breakfast. This shake, I don't know what it is. It like just gets me going for the rest of the day. It feels like I drank a full cup of coffee. Uh, let's see, there's oats in it, like a cup of oats, milk, banana, peanut butter, raw egg. You don't have to do that part. I know people are weird about that. Uh, scoop of protein powder, frozen fruit, honey, and sometimes if I have it, I'll throw like a handful of salad in here because you don't even taste it. But yeah, it is delicious. It's like it's like cheating. It's just like it's like a dessert that is super good for you. It sounds like I'm doing a commercial. Anyway, what, what am I doing? Why am I showing you guys my breakfast? It's time to go buy a truck. I forgot though, uh, I went to a Halloween party this past weekend as a banana. And do they have booze at these meetings? Uh. They serve refreshments, yes. And Ding Dong Dish Neighbor Rich's house. Here's the footage. You guys ready? Go. My name's Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. It's times like this that I'm happy I have a security camera system because I can catch knuckleheads like myself going around pulling stupid pranks. And you see neighbor Richie get himself a security camera system as well. Oh, I guess he does. Must be a pretty good camera system. I know I have a good one and that is Eufy. Not only do they supply me with one of the best camera systems that's available for you for a great price with my discount code, but also this sweet deadbolt where I can lock my doors from anywhere on my phone through the Eufy app. This one's been a game changer and also available down in the description if you wanna purchase it. And I also got the 24 seven smart protection 4K wired security cameras. These are awesome because you don't have to run power the whole way back to the home base. That's all done through Wi-Fi. Just plug them to a power source and you're ready to go. It's all about being easy, quick connect, no BS, and offers 24 seven recording without any monthly fees. That's how all these other companies just gets way too gray. It's like an insurance agency. They're just always trying to upsell you with other crap that you don't need. Eufy knows what you need and they give it to you for one great price. These cameras also offer Bionic Mind AI. So this is brand new. With other camera systems, it's inefficient. You have to review the footage manually and look at all different cameras. With Eufy, the built-in AI automatically joins the same videos from different cameras, recognizing that it's the same person. Splices them all of them together and makes it easy for you to review with one simple click and you can watch the full active event at once this world's getting crazier by the day i'm telling you this is something that you need i always recommend a dash camera for your car and what's even more important than your car is your home so get it secured asap i've been working with eufy for over a year now their equipment's great all of their products work not a single hiccup along the way so thank you so much eufy for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for all the support and now our feature presentation all right, now it's time to go look at the new truck. So my dad found this on Facebook Marketplace. He's been in the hunt for a new truck for a while, and I know you guys saw the Bubble Eye. You correct him on that, it's not a Cat Eye. It's a Bubble Eye Chevy Silverado. It was a 2500 HD, 6.0 liter, I believe. They wanted $14,000 for it. Uh, originally wanted like $18,000 for it, and we were able to talk him down to 14, 13, somewhere around there. It was just too much money. Low mileage, 60,000 miles, but they used it a lot to tow. Uh, so here, we're going to check out another 2500 bubble eye a little bit more mileage on it but the price is way better like this isn't nearly as outrageous as the first one i think we're actually getting a pretty sweet deal on this truck there's the city fall time day after halloween hope y'all guys have fun stayed safe it's crazy man it's time for christmas or thanksgiving whichever party you are that sun is bright the bronco giveaway is over done and if you guys enter get ready for that phone call it's coming very soon but on to bigger and better things watch it i'm gonna get this done in like 15 seconds chevy 3500 not 2500 not 1500 3500 hd all blacked out plus fifty thousand dollars i'm gonna give you that right now if you buy any one of my products times 100 entries that's the highest multiplier we're gonna do so if you want this truck there's not gonna be a better time now is the time to enter if you buy one of my t-shirts for 38 bucks that's 3800 entries from one t-shirt christmas time's coming up folks now is the time to shop all of our products are in stock. So buy your friend, parent, son, daughter, whatever, whoever, a gift from the second link down in the description, 717splot.com. And not only could you be giving them a chicken nugget keychain for Christmas, but also a brand new truck plus $50,000.
dollars. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let me give you that phone call. Good luck. Here she is in all her glory. This is up rolling on site. I'm speaking in post because the wind was bad and we were talking with the owner of the vehicle, which happened to be a young kid. So that can sort of be a red flag, but the overall, my first impressions with the vehicle was that there wasn't very much rust, if any, and it seemed to be maintained pretty well. Took it for a quick test drive, fired it up here. Sounds okay. It actually sounds a lot better on camera. In person, it doesn't sound that great, but uh, we'll get to that. So let's get this thing home and we can officially get started on doing a big once over of this truck and future build prospects. Every time I step foot in my dad's garage, I hear this like noise. Can you guys hear that? I don't know. It's like a weird sound and, it, and whatever it is, it brings me back because we have the 83 Firebird Trans Am, the 1999 Chevy Silverado, the 2500, whatever you want to call it. And of course, the 68 GTO. Progress being made on this because I haven't even shown you guys what my dad's done with the 5.3. This is over here in like a video game, Forza, Gran Turismo, whatever you want to call it, like setup. And the whole point of this is to just eliminate what the engine doesn't need to run because this is obviously a brand new engine, essentially. So this is an easy way to like subtract parts from it and be like, all right, we can run with this with the bare minimum or what do we need to transfer over to put in the 68 GTO? Now, as far as the truck goes, this is being shot a little bit later than the beginning of the video. We bought this truck, my dad bought this truck a few weeks ago. Now, why am I showing this on my channel? Well, obviously because all of his vehicles that he has, we showcase on this channel, of course. But like I said, going back in time, we got the old Snap-on toolbox over here. I mention that toolbox every time I come in this garage. I don't know why, there's so many things in here that I, I've grown up with, been around through my childhood and now into my adulthood. And my dad just takes such good care of his stuff uh, and it's so cool. And as you can tell already, door panels off, trim pieces off. The speaker system has been uh, halfway redone. He's working on the other side. Engine bay, everything washed down. Just getting all of the, the, the boring work out of the way, but the fun work in my eyes, because now you get to have these body panel pieces here that look essentially brand new. And that's so much fun to do on these, uh, these old trucks. Everyone wants to think about modifications and different stuff like that. I'm more into the fact of like these old vehicles, whenever they're stock like this, just clean them up, make them nice. The paint is in pretty remarkable condition. Just gonna have to get off this like old weather stripping here for that, uh, whatever that overhang is that like keeps rain out. And there's a few other odds and ends, but for the most part, this thing is ready to roll. Now with my dad being a master mechanic, this thing is gonna get a full like thousand point check on it <laughs> just the way it is which is it's great he's very thorough and he's got some plans for this thing obviously he's not going to jack this thing up to the sky but he told me he wants to put a leveling kit on it uh maybe some bigger tires and he's thinking about changing out the exhaust on video it sounds pretty good in person it's just like two little cherry bombs glass packs whatever i don't really know the terminology for those sorts of exhaust there it's cheap it's cheap so just throw like a nice exhaust on this thing just to make it sound good and not as rattly as this sounds in person because it's just like dumped out the side now i know some people are into that that's cool uh, but yeah, you can see all the work that is going into this thing just in a couple of days here. Tearing everything apart, checking everything over because the big thing now is to look for rust. So far, haven't seen any of the rust essentially. I mean, look at this. This is insanely clean. This is a 1999. Look at that. Near mint on the rockers. And I don't know about under the carpet here, but I'm assuming that looks good as well. Because if your rockers are good, I'm not trying to say that everything should be good, but that is your main culprit for rusting on all these old trucks. And then the frame here, a little bit dirty, and of course you're gonna have a little bit of your surface rust, but that can be cleaned up in mere seconds. And that's the overall. I mean, the entire underside of the truck is like that, in great condition. The only bit of concern that we have with this vehicle is whenever we showed up, the engine bay was like very shined up. And I know a lot of people think that that's like a sales tactic because it's like, hey, I wanna clean my engine. For me, that's a red flag. I suspect something whenever there's tire shine on the tires, the engine shined up 150,000 miles on this. I'm very excited to see this thing out in the snow. If you guys are clicking on this and don't know about my channel, you're just some new viewer who stumbled on this. Uh, this is my truck, Chevy Colorado ZR2. It's a 2023 and we're doing some pretty wicked modifications to that. So if you want to see a more aggressive build, make sure you check it out. Very next video, new wheels and tires, bigger tires, better wheels than factory. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. We got Big Red in the garage here. Keep you guys updated on this truck and obviously my other vehicles in the fleet. Thank you so much, Eufy, for sponsoring this video. Check out the giveaway 717 supply going on right now. Times 100 entries for the high country. That is the highest multiplier we're gonna do. So if you buy a key tag sticker or shirt, every dollar spent is worth 100 entries to win the high country and $50,000 cash. Thank you guys again. Later.